Hi, I'm Jay. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Beer Nerd Views, where I talk about men's grooming products and other nerdy things. Today, I have a product that's also its own YouTube channel. They're a company from down south in a city called Lakeland. They're all natural. The channel and name of the business is called Beard Booze. Um, Beard Booze is, a, in my opinion, a fantastic company and a fantastic show. If you haven't tried any of their products or seen their shows on YouTube, I highly suggest them checking them out. All right, I'm going to start. I'm going to um, talk about all seven samples and of his bombs and oils today. So I got seven oils and seven bombs. So this show might take a little long today, so please bear with me. I'm going to try to make this fast and sweet as possible. Um, today I'm not going to get a description reading the on the bottles because there weren't really a description on the bottles of the scents. So I went online and I also, so I'm going to post those little ingredients right there. And also I'm just going to read off the scents so I can really smell. Apologize, I've had sinus issues. So my scents aren't very degraded right now. So I'm not going to go ahead and just smell the bottle. I'm just going to show you the oils. Well, anyway, we don't care about that. We came here for oils. Alright, first one today. I'm going to start off, it's going to be, um, oh yeah, I'm going to start off the least of my favorites all the way to my favorites. Not saying any of these scents are horrible, they're all fantastic, I just have things I like better. Alright, again, I apologize if I have a sneezing fit, I'll edit that out as best as possible. Today I am going to do Castaway. Or shake up your bottles. Castaways, I um, want to say it's a thick, a thin oil, but it's got some thickness to it. It's got a yellowish tint. It's not really yellow. It's just eh, slightly there. So if you this is going to bother you because you got a white beard or a peppery beard, you might want to stay away from this. My personal opinion, it's a fantastic product. So be missing out if you don't try it out at least once. Bombs are a nice white. It was cast away. Castaway Owl, I got sense wise out of it was a grapefruit sandwich and orange, like a citrus. Like there was that, I felt like there was orange, not just grapefruit. Um, next one I'm going to do is going to be Hawaiian Light. I'm sorry, I can't smell that, guys. I totally get into it, but I can't. Got a nice yellowish tint. It's not too bad. Bomb, again. White. And the scent I got out of this was a fl floral, lime, and a lavender, and a, I say, maybe, I don't know, maybe because my signs aren't great right now, a slight sandalwood scent. Those are definitely the scents I picked up out of that one. Okay, next one we're going to go with is Smuggler's Blend. I always shake out your bottles, but I didn't say that. Got a slight yellowish tint. Again, a nice, good, solid white color.
Now, Smuggler Blend has got a warm, to me, it's got a warm spice um, uh, sense that I got out of it. I'm also, like I said, I'm going to post, always post them up there. It's a warm spice, clove, cinnamon, black pepper, citrus, almost a precor to a, like a, a could say rum. Like, I definitely got that bay rum smell out of it. Very unique. I liked it a lot. Liked it a lot. Um, every one of these scents I like a lot. I just, I really had a hard time picking. Alright, next one we're doing is going to be Rest, rest in Peace Van Winkley. Got a nice yellowish tint to it. It's bomb. Now this stuff um, goes so easily. It comes out so easily. And what I find fascinating, it comes out so easily and it holds so well. It really does. All the bombs and oils are work exactly the same pretty much. I haven't seen a difference. Now I got, this is like egg or um, this would be like your tree man, I guess you say uh, I am, mountain lumberjack, something like that. Um, it's definitely um, a woodsy man, like if you're a man that likes the woods and everything, going hiking, it's definitely a scent for you. But the scents I got out of this were a Cedarwood, pine, and tea tree. Those were definitely scents I could definitely pull out of it. Very nice, fresh smell of that forest smell. Alright, next one we're going to, and I thought this one was pretty awesome. This is de definitely on one of my top three I like the most. Of the last three, um, I'm going to tell you my last, my all, all of my liked, but the last three were my top. Next one we're going to put, um, bring out is buzzkill now buzzkill is its own scent there's nothing like it it is I don't know if you guys ever had a citronella candle I think that's what they call it a citronella candle is one of those things you um candles you light back in the um Way my parents used to get them all the time. They were candles that you let to keep the mosquitoes and everything away. And I do believe this actually has natural, as don't quote me on this, but I believe, I think I read it online that this stuff actually has some natural incense repellent, and I thought that was pretty dope. So, if you like that smell of those candles and everything, you'll really like Buzzkill. Like I said, it's its own scent. I couldn't write down on it what kind of scent it was because it smelled like a candle to me. <laughs> one of those candles, at least. All right, next one's going to be Shrunken Head. Nice yellowish tint. Nice and white. Sounds like I showed the bottle of the last one. It's the bottom. The shrunken head. Shrunken head is a smoky, a sweet smoky vanilla, and I definitely could smell some cloves. Um, the sweets, like the smoky, I want to say it's a tobacco, um, sweet. I think it would be more like a, um, smoker sweet. Like someone's cooking a smoker and that kind of sweetness is smell I get out of it. Or maybe like a, um, I want to say like a campfire. Those is, that's the type of smoky smell I get out of it. I definitely don't really smell a tobacco, but maybe I haven't used too many tobacco scents and everything, so... 
I might be, maybe that's just not something I have used a lot of, so I don't know the scents to pick up exactly. But those are the scents I oh, I could pull out of it. And my last and final oil and balm is going to be Yedisi, Yet Yet Yedisden Yed. Um, I'll put the word right there. <laughs> Dyslexic. Sorry, I apologize. Yedisi Williamson. <laughs> Always shake your bottles up. I repeated myself already before. It's my favorite out of all of them. And I can't stand the smell of grapefruit. See, it's got a... But, I love the smell of this stuff. I guess I could say it's got a nice childhood memory. My nana used to try to make me eat grapefruit, and I want to eat it for the life of me. And every single one of my family members would eat it, but not me. I'd rather starve than eat that stuff. But this stuff right here, freaking love it. Where I wear it any day, and it's got a grapefruit black pepper scent to it. Went to probably think those two scents would go together, but those were the, it's actually it is. Um, and you can smell it dead in there. It's grapefruit and a peppery smell. It's not that spicy. I wouldn't say it's like a spice peppery. Um, it definitely intertwines. It smells really nice together. Um, now going to my final reviews on the product. Sorry if this video took a little long. Um, the bottles. I've never seen really too many come to use a blue bottle before, um, but I thought that was pretty cool, and I'm pretty sure that would help exactly as the brown bottles, or you want to call those, um, I think they're brown. Some people call them, I don't exactly remember what name they could call, but somebody call it different names. Um, the logo, I'm going to show, I showed, I'm going to show images of all the logos, and I personally thought they were awesome looking. I'm like, there was nothing wrong with that. They have, fan, they're all natural company. And Randy and his wife do fantastic customer service. Um, so far, of all the companies I have contacted, out of everyone, they've showed the best customer service out of that. And I appreciate that 100%. Um, how he acts on his YouTube channels, the, the vibe, I totally get, not just from the vi videos. So it's not just a play out of words of acts. This man really cares on what he does. Um, I didn't, oh, I, I forgot. I bought a comb off of him, and it was made off a skateboard. And he only makes these here and there. Right now, I do believe he doesn't have these. So if you're going to go right now and look for one, you're not going to find it just yet. But he makes these hand, um, handmade. He buys skateboards and does this. He does all different types of stuff like that, making things and doing that. Um, again, check this guy out. He does a fantastic job. You can find him, his YouTube um, channel name is Beard Boost, so is the company, and so is his um, Instagram. And um, you can also find him on Facebook and Snapchat. You can also find me also on Instagram. Please like, give this video a like, subscribe, drop a comment, and tell me what you feel about the video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, and beard on.